We're back to full focus chat. We're back to taking away the grand finals. The prize pool is 20,000 euros, 6,000 euros for first place. If you win today, let's see how this goes. There's still at least five maps we haven't seen them play yet. And they might bring those through for the finals. That's what they uh, did last time. One prize pool for quality and whatever wasn't in the semis, you're, you're gonna see in the finals. Lord Max as well, thank you. Last of my chest earnings? Well, to earn that amount of money in chess, you have to be pretty good, so... I mean, it makes sense. <laughs> oh! Way! We're back! Addy, thank you for the five gifted. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, we are back with the Ascension qualifier number two here in Lille. I am Serrator and this is Etoile. And we've seen two amazing semifinals, haven't we? Yeah, Serrator, they've been pretty good. You know, I feel to feel like the players played well, especially on my map. Your map is pretty bad. I don't know, I think it's the best one. Uh, and then, and then they're gonna banter for a bit, and then they're gonna actually. But let's take a look at the final lineup now. That's how you. That's how you cast everybody. <laughs> so here's the players, and then, and then you go into that, and then all right. Now uh, we have the players entering the stage. Ale, you know. That commentary made me feel like I was there IRL. It's weird how... How language can impact us in such a profound way. Oh, so they're playing some epic music. I don't know if you can hear. Some soft guitar. You hear it? It's almost like a dream. Maybe it is a dream. <laughs> it's like <laughs> yoga music. It's kind of nice though. It doesn't all need to be intense. It's gonna be intense, but we can chill a bit for now. Do you guys have any good snacks? What's your best snack right now, chat? I should go get snacks. I have snacks downstairs. Yeah, frikandel. That's good. Sunflower seeds? Okay, so we have a bird in chat. Slush. That's unbeatable. Baby carrots. Those are really good. Straight rice. <laughs> Granola's good too. Oh, man. I want to make some food after this. Acai is very good. Popcorn. Why is one guy just spamming sunflower seeds? We get it. You're <laughs> we see, we've, we've seen the sunflower seeds now. Are you guys just munching sunflower seeds? I gotta try. Oh, we're starting. Richie! The man who didn't even believe he qualified himself to the grand final entering the stage. Keeve as well, barely closing it out after three missed finalist opportunities. He finds himself in the finals now. Massa, are we gonna have all oh, the double driller? Off he with. Just a smile and a wave. <laughs> the voice clearly rehearsed this. Coco. Give it a nice little wink. Carl Jr. And lastly, Renati. 
I was in on the- I was gonna be in on the driller. He get Okay, that was way more wholesome. Well... Alright. What a lineup, everybody. Now, as I said, the format here changed this. And that's probably what Serrator is explaining too. They're not gonna be playing until finalist mode. They're instead gonna all start with three health points each. And then, every time you get last in a round, similar to Couple Today, when you get last, you will lose one heart. So it is a battle of survival rather than getting first places. You have to be very consistent, crash less. You're gonna probably see people do less risky shortcuts and whatnot if they see they can save. And this leads to some very interesting things. Last time, Gwen was clearly the fastest player, but he didn't win the finals. It was Chalik who won the finals. And here you can see it. Three lives per player to finish last or not finish is minus one life, and no lives left is elimination. It's really just about that, chat. Trackmania is about life. And life is about Trackmania. Think about it. This is what it's all about. Competing in Trackmania. It has a double meaning. <laughs> Here we are. see who takes it. One of the biggest competitions of the year. This is an exhibition match? No, they're playing for 20k. It's anything but that. It is a tournament final. And then if they... But all the players here are qualified to the next tournament. Vote in the chat for your favorite player. Maybe we can get a poll? Who do you think is going to win this? Dearest moderators, I come to you in a time of need. Maybe we can get a poll about who your favorite player is. You can't vote for yourself. You kind of have to vote for someone in the final. You cannot vote for sunflower seeds. You cannot vote for the caster. The players are, of course, Carl Jr., Granati, Afi, Mime, Heave, Masa, Richie, and Coco. And you can see them warming up, and this is on... Oh lord, it is on the Zeppelin map. I think that's gonna be the first one. I have completely forgotten what it's called, but that is such a difficult map to drive. Uh-oh. So the maps are changed. Now here's the predictions. I've already voted. I've given my prediction. Uh, Carl Jr. I'm boring. I'm sorry. But I have watched enough Trackmania Esports to know that betting against Carl Jr. tends to be a bad idea. Just It tends to be. I could be very wrong. I'm just gonna, you know. I have watched tournaments and be like, okay, well this guy has a chance now. Yeah, but this other guy has a chance now. And then in almost every final, there's one man who wins. And it's the GOAT. It's Carl Jr. We'll see if someone can change that stereotype today. Oh my god. I'm just curious to see if they have a consistent strategy on this first map for the start, because you can see his car. Do you see his car just bouncing around? This is the map they're gonna play. It's like you're on a bouncy castle with a car, and you have to stabilize it to win 20,000 euros. <laughs> if you get last there, you lose a life. You, you could be out first map if you don't. Anywho. Far... I, I don't... Oh, is it... Fa, like, Pharaoh? I think it... Okay, well, this, this map name, I don't even know. It's a beautiful cinematic. Event, are you all good? Here we go, first round. Now, again, it's all about not getting last. 
We're looking for big mistakes here. Man getting a bit of a stock. See, things like that is what you want to watch out for. Coco as well. Two seconds behind after the start. Carl going for the shortcut. The map now continues onto a castle. You have to go in between these gaps. And you really don't need a lot of speed. Just stay safe. The last part of this map is driving on this bridge. Just actually people's shoes. There's people upside down. Spectators lined up in a row. And then the finish is at the Lifehouse. Carl Jr. is going to be safe. Granati as well. Two of the favorites to win this match. But Coco, two checkpoints behind. It's looking a little bit dangerous for him right now. As Richie, if he closes out his run, it will be Coco losing the first heart here. And that is going to be the case. Farao Fia. Is that how you say it? I can see Coco has two lives left. Here we go again. Round two. We play until the last player standing. Coco now with a much better start, though forced a little bit wide. And uh-oh. Down into eighth again on the split. That can do something to your nerves. Man going wide here. Not really trying to risk anything at all. Richie with a poor landing. He was seventh last time. Has there been the big mistakes? Offie and Carl, actually. Offie with the big mistake. Far behind the checkpoint. Someone respawned on the bridge here. Granati really saving it. This is the cup of the day experience. Taking it so nice and safe on that bridge. And it is Carl last. Hang on. Carl four seconds behind. Almost guaranteed to lose a heart here. And he will. Does lose a heart. Okay. A little unexpected. Think Serrator making a joking remark here. That it would probably be very funny if I was French, but for now I can just chuckle and not understand it. Good start for Carl this time. Oh, and again, Coco. Again, it's Coco in last. Oh, Carl almost crashing the pillar. Coco, oh, he's about to catch up, but now forced to go into reverse gear. That's going to put him far behind here. Oh, big respawn there. Could play into Coco's favor. I think it might be a little far, though. Still several seconds here. Yeah, Coco. DNF even. He's going to chance it all in this last heart. Oh, wow. And one round remains of this map. Here we go. Cross the bumps. You really just want to stay flat, Carl. With a mistake. Masa as well. Oh, big slowdown for Masa. And at the last part as well. Which kind of prevents him from doing this shortcut jump. Carl, though, into the pillar. Still going to land it. Still sixth place. Richie and Masa behind him. A leading battle. Not too important, really. To see. Whoa, Granati. <gasps> bad place to respawn. Very bad place to respawn. Granati in last right now. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Shada Chocolade here. Granati is going to be deducted one point, one heart. So him and Carl, two of the people's favorites, already tanking damage. And that should be the first map. I think they still play four rounds a map. They do. Gotta be consistent every single round. You cannot afford to slip up. Cannot afford <laughs> to fall off the small bridge there. I'm very curious about the map. <gasps> okay. This is a stunning map visually, but it's very tough to drive. Transfer. 
You start upside down, you flip onto tires here. And now you have quarter pipes. One small quarter pipe jump here. All of them making it, and then we're coming up to a very big quarter pipe jump, but before that, some tricky reactors here. You don't want to go too fast, or you will actually lift off from all the speed. And I think Carl... <gasps> Carl Jr.'s made a massive mistake on the splits. He's not even crossed the checkpoint. It's been five seconds. Carl might tank a second hit here. Ten seconds behind. And I say always, it's a bad idea to bet against Carl Jr., but now with one health point left, as there are over 20 rounds more to be played, he cannot afford to be last in any of them. Granati, though, with another mistake. Hang on. That's gonna be a close battle. Granati is within reach for Carl with a good end, but... Oh! Granati's gonna be safe now. It looked possible, but here... The nerves are clearly present. Oh my god. Smile still, though, on the camera. Not too nervous. Gets the first flip all right. No slide here. Gets a very early landing there as well. Oh. <laughs> These reactors are so scary. Looks like everyone's made a Granadian last so far. Now the big quarter pipe jump. Don't want to go too low here. But also not too far. Ooh. All four of them equal. Still no mistakes, I believe. Granati still last. Carl very low here. Not a lot of speed for the ending. <gasps> oh, okay, he's gonna make it. He's gonna make it. What about Richie, though? Richie versus Massa. Attempt on the splits. Oh! Mine crashed the finish! Mime crashed the finish block, and he too tanks a hit. So far, Carl and Coco on one heart left. Granati Mime on two. Someone crashed really badly. I don't want to know who it was. Heave. Into the first checkpoint. Forced to double respawn, probably two seconds. And now if the players are... Attentive, if they are observant, they can see the splits here and know they can afford to save. As much as is possible on this map. Off going very low. I don't know. I don't trust that. I don't trust that. Whew, okay. He has it under control. Must have made a mistake as well. He's still far though. Also like that the crowd has started to <laughs> Wee every time they jump. <laughs> every time they go for a big jump, you can hear the crowd. Hypers. So so far only three players that have full health points. It's Richie, Afi, and Masa. No damage taken yet. Last round of this map, I believe. Oh, okay, yeah. I would... Oh, he going too fast! Oh, barely able to save it! His car was about to fly off there and now has to panic to try to save this, and he is almost last. Coco's still behind. <laughs> Heave in last now after that pan... After that panic release, still last on the last checkpoint, but maybe more speed than Mossa. Point two is not uncatchable, though he respawns, he respawns, and that's another health point. Deducted two in a row for Heave. Not too happy about it. But we are going to start seeing some knockouts soon. Three players on one health point. It's a matter of time. It's a matter of time. <gasps> oh, 
This is exciting. This is one of my favorite maps. It's very simple, but it's just something called Neo Slides. About 10 of them that you need to do perfectly. And the rounds here are gonna be extremely close. I think though, for the first one, if you don't hit a wall, you're probably safe. If- oh, Wafi already hit the wall. Yeah, someone is gonna crash the walls in these very narrow drifts. But it's a very tight snaking road and you need... Really good timing, it's Richie with a second wall hit. One might be affordable, two is a problem, heave. Right now in seventh, one spot from elimination. Out of the finals. Richie right now trying to do something, needs to catch about 0.3 in the end. To avoid tanking a hit, he gets a very good outside line. He's catching up to heave, more speed. That gap is still about two tenths still before the final Neo slides and it's not that easy to gain, but Heave hits the wall and Heave could be out of the finals right now. And he knows it. Is there any chance Granati hits the wall as well, but Heave is too far behind and Heave will be out of the finals in eighth place. And that does still grant him about 1,200 euros. So, nothing to scoff at. So, really, really respectable performance today and getting to the finals. Amazing performance. Top 7. Just look at how close the margins are. Richie again, and that's a really tough crash. Massa as well. Two of the leaders with full health have crashed the walls the worst right now. Though the gap remains 0.3 in favor of Masa. Outside line, is anyone gonna go too high here? Looks like they have it under control. And what about that battle? Does look like Richie is still about 0.4 behind Masa. Last turn is one of the hardest. Carl Jr. hesitating on the Neo. Richie getting closer, but it's too far. Richie takes his first hit. Only Masa and Afi. Who have yet to lose any hearts. Ooh, I thought Carl was gonna hit there for a second. Knows his spacing so well. That was a big clan car. That was Granati. Into the wall. He's playing this track on keyboard. Afi is into the wall as well, but not as badly as Granati. Still, Granati in last place. Coco and Carl should be just about safe with this gap. Outside dirt line, looks like Renati is past Alfie now. Unless I saw that wrong. No, yeah, I did. Mime and Granati are just about tied before the last couple of drifts. Mime getting overtaken by Granati, but holding on into the final turn. And Granati takes another hit here. Down to one. This is how this format goes right now. The two favorites, Carl and Garotti, on one health each. No mistakes allowed for the rest of the final. Last round of Lantern. You can see Granati now instantly opting for wider Neo slides. He's hit the walls in many of the rounds. He does not want a chance at Mime into the wall in that one. But even with the wall, he's still keeping up. Still catching up to Richie, who hasn't yet crashed, but is driving a little too safe. Shows you can't afford that either. Onto the outside line. Richie trying to get a lot of speed. Gets a good downhill, I would think. Mine still stays ahead. Last two drifts here. Coco's made a terrible mistake. Into the wall. He only has one heart left. Last turns here. The others are all extending ahead. He needs someone to miss the slide, but it doesn't look like it's going to happen. Coco is out. Seventh place for him. Also 1,200 euros.
Oh, seven. Oh, seven. Tension is building. So far, these rounds have not been... Been too intense, but when everyone's on one health point left, that's when the pressure's on. And we're seeing yet... Oh, sorry, we're not seeing another new map. This one we had earlier. With the tire jump at the end, anything can happen on this one. That last jump can make or break rounds through the Continental Tire. Start here, everyone gets through all right. Muscle though onto a lot of snow. That's gonna slow him down Granati even more so. And Granati, uh-oh. The alarm bells are ringing right now. He needs to see a mistake. About 1.5 seconds behind the field. But how likely is it that every other player gets that ring jump? Very unlikely. Someone is probably going to miss it. The precision required with the nerves at play right now. Massa with low speed before it. Things like this can happen. Richie as well onto a lot of penalty grass. This is the jump. Oh, Massa missing it. Is it enough? So here comes Granati. Never mind. Massa missing the jump and Granati can stay in for one more round. Not so exceptional this time. Only Afi on full health. Ooh. Dangerous wheel clip there from Masa. Carl opting to go very far on the right side. Had to release to save that. You can see it cost him a lot of time. Not the jump he was opting for, and he's in the same position as Granati. No health left, so this could be the round. If everyone gets the jump, I'm not sure how Carl is going to come back. Last time, it was four out of five that did it. He's really just hoping something's going to happen here for someone. Muscle with low speed. Richie onto a lot of pounds of grass. Do they all get it? This could be Carl out. I think Carl might be out. Carl Jr. is eliminated in sixth place. Insane. Does get the celebration from the crowd regardless, but that speaks to the level we're playing at. Carl Jr. out in sixth. And so someone will be getting a big win today, but Richie might find himself on one health point left if the, the, everyone gets the jump. He too just has to hope for a miracle. Oh! Mime losing a lot in this segment. With that roof hit. Off he's still flawless. Looking very comfortable right now. Driving safe lines, not taking chances. But Richie has caught up a lot of ground to Mossa. It's only a second. Here we go, on to the big jump. Off he may! Oh, if he does not make it, off he respawns! Mossa bounces out! So does Gr Richie, I believe. Richie upside down! Who's gonna get to the finish line first? Off he passing him, and off he stays flawless. Richie down to 1 HP. The margins work out in Uffy's favor here. Still keeping it clean. Last round of the tire map. Barely surviving the wheel clip once again. Weird landing for Granati, not getting the ice sled. To follow, but Mime has made a massive mistake. Still though, this is when things get really scary. You see the splits, everyone knows this. Because you have a press forward section, you have time to look at the splits here. They know he's four seconds behind. So they know, if they hit this jump, they're safe. That's all they gotta do. But 
this is where things can get scary. When it's exceptionally simple, just aim the jump! Buffy looks like he had it. I think Richie and Grotti has it too. Masa gets it as well, and they all make it through. Mime down to one health. At most, only like five or six rounds left to play here. I think six rounds at most. And Afi's looking so poised to win this. One of his first big solo wins. If he can survive, troisième étoile. Thinking back to both semifinals now and who this map favored. I'm not so sure anymore what to predict here. We know this flip can be decisive already, but especially the shortcut jump. Big respawn from Mime, I believe. Going too low off the side. The platform had to carry so much speed onto that. That's already five seconds. Seven seconds even. Now we'll see how aware the other players are of this. Are they even going to attempt the shortcut jumps? They could elect not to. <laughs> cameraman a little bit too late. Players are driving too fast for the cameraman to keep up. As we now <laughs> enter the bug slide, looks like they all get through all right. And yeah, I don't think Rinaldi's going for the jump. I think he's going to go out to the left here. Oh, sketchy. Sketchy for sure. Ooh, knows the li limits so well, though. Knows the speed numbers. But what about Offy? What about Richie? They've fallen far in the splits. Has Mime maybe been able to make a comeback happen here? The big clan players will be finishing safely, but... That difference between 4th and 5th is only about a second. But Afi holds on. He's still not last, and Mime is then out. Four players remain. Here we go. First flip. Up to the dirt. Everyone making it. Low air time from Masa, beautifully done. Together with his teammate. Jumping across the bobsleigh corner, trying to get in the middle here, and they do both get it. Richie, point four behind only. Very close between all four players on the start. The wall hit looks good too. Driving in tandem here from the big clan players. Now the cameraman on time to catch us on the drop down. Off oh, and last right now. Is this going to be the first round where he takes a hit? He might have made a mistake. The gap has increased. The jump. Oh, he makes it. It's better than Richie. That might be his only target here. The others are so far in front. Off oh, now feeling the heat. Put in the hot seat. Last shortcut jump and the ice slide. Needs to find one second. Going for the riskiest approach he can to land for a good drift setup. And that's going to catch him a lot of it, but not all of it. The rest will be here in this downhill. Sketchy setup. Instant ice slide. Pass Mossa. Somehow he finds it. Is it enough for the last jump? Afi. One second behind and he does it. Three health points and everyone else on one. What a comeback, what a clutch performance. Playing this format beautifully off, he hasn't made many big mistakes and has always been able to snipe someone. Now, he just knocked him down one in a row like Domino's. 
As long as he's not last. Can afford to not take that many big risks. But he can't fall too far behind. This is a weaker start than we saw last time. Half a second. Maybe also less speed. <gasps> oh, had to opt for the wide line there. I think he wanted the inside line. Realized last second he could not go for it. Find himself a little closer to Richie. <gasps> okay. Pushing the limits. Will have the speed for the shortcut now. Still half a second. The bug slide. It's there and it's good enough. With a great ending, he can still make this happen. Richie gets a good uh, no slide. Same for the big clan players and they will all make the jump. But look at Alfie's setup for this drift again. He's going for the riskiest approach he can. Richie into the wall. Can Alfie now knock him out with a good last ice slide? He maybe can actually. Inside setup. But no, I don't think so. I don't think so. I think Richie's going to make it. And he will. Alfie takes his first health point. And the times are impeccable. 124.4 and 0.5 by everybody. Oh boy. At most, only four rounds remain, maybe less, until we have a winner of the second qualifier in Ascension. First backflip. Everybody lands it. Up the hill, Massa and Granada get that low air time. Setting up the Neo, off he hits the inside, low speed onto the bobsleigh, watch out! This could be two health points in a row if the others drive just as clean. He is now 0.4 behind. Does he get the inside line this time? I'm not so sure, he goes wide on the minimap. Down low, Granada with a poor landing. Everyone has the speed, I think. It's gonna be sketchy though. Gets a good setup. And makes it. Has no other option. Can't afford to lose more time. The others are gonna know on this checkpoint. This is when they're gonna know. They're still gonna try to risk. It's still a close round. And they all make the jump with ease. Granati now, I think, instantly recognizing the split, seeing Offie not showing up. Trying to save it. They're all maybe going to be on one health point left. It seems to be the case. What a finals. Sudden death now. Sudden death. Anything can happen. It's anyone's game. You just got to not be last. I think we're going to the next map. <sighs> this is Mossa's favorite map. Epin Glaze. I know Masa has this one as his favorite. There is a shortcut in the ending. You see that reactor flip right there? It saves like one and a half to two seconds. If they dare, they can go for it. Oh? Uh? Masa's doing the reroute. There is no way. There is no way you're doing this in the finals. This is so risky. There's a reactor jump here that he needs to get onto the platform. If he misses it, it's over. He lands it. He's gonna be first here. He's going to be first if he gets the last jump too. But I cannot believe he's doing this right now. Looking at the others. Richie on the left side. This is very bad for Richie. Richie might be out here if Masa hits the big jump. Camera on Masa for that ending jump. Is he gonna get it? I think he's missed it. I think my oh, Masa finishes. Masa's through the goal. Off the as well, and Richie out in fourth place. Insane. To pull out the shortcut reroute in the finals, absolutely mental. But huge performance from Richie, his biggest tournament performance ever.
Now let's see. Is he gonna do it again? There is no way. There is no way. Does go for it once more. Once again, that reactor jump here after this bobsleigh turn. If he misses it, it's all over. Oh, this is late. Oh, this is late. But look at the precision. Massa lands it one more time. And this round. The ice line. The ice line. The gear. The danger wedge. Now an opportunity for Granati and Afi. It's going to be very close. It's going to be down to the wire. They're going up. Moss is going up on the other side. They're not going for the shortcut. They're going for the normal way. Afi could be out. But he stays in the gear. This is the jump Massa had to contend with at the end. That uh, we didn't get to see. It's so difficult. Big props. Here is the final. Afi versus Granati. Granati's been on one health point for all this time. Afi just getting there a few rounds ago. I slide. Granati with more speed. Oh, barely navigating past that corner without clipping the back wheel into the bobsleigh. So far, dead even, 1,000th apart. Who's gonna dare? Who's gonna dare to go for the shortcut? The Ice 360. Granati going for it. Double 360 even. Lens on the right side has a better setup. Granati's gonna have more speed. Are they gonna dare the shortcut? Granati might. Granati might flip out here. He's going for it. Both are going for it. Both are going for it. Granati takes it. Granati gets the shortcut. Respect to both. It comes down to a reactor 360. They had to risk. And Granati wins. Ascension qualifier number two. One of his first big solo wins. As a professional Drake Mania player. Very fun for Granati. That is insane. Absolutely insane. <laughs> and very well deserved too. A lot of people had him as the favorite going in. I think the big question was could he beat Carl? But Uffy with an insane performance. And look at this. This is fun too. He plays without his shoes on. Because at home, he, you know, he sits with his pedals and plays without shoes. So when he's using his pedals in game as well, you know, you gotta you gotta take out the shoes. <laughs> no variables, you gotta be as comfortable as possible. But my god. I wish we got to see that last jump from Masa. So you guys can get a perspective of how hard that shortcut is. I can maybe show it to you after here. I think we're gonna have some winner interview. And maybe pull up the uh, the official broadcast now. One second. Hang on, everybody. One moment. And now here and here. Ça va être un événement absolument légendaire. Ce sera à la Sud de France Arena. Légendaire. On peut aller jusqu'à très loin dans Power les places. La salle est modulable. Il y a déjà 5000 personnes qui ont pris leur billet. Pour vous donner une idée, là, vous étiez un tout petit peu moins de 4000. Donc, ce sera, ça peut être jusqu'au double quasiment. Donc, n'hésitez pas, venez prendre vos places. Ce sera des modes un petit peu différents. Ça sacrera, eh bien, euh, trois joueurs, dont un qui soulèvera le trophée. 28 octobre, chat. Mark the date. Et surtout que... That's the stadium that you see a picture of that they will be in. Est-ce que vous avez passé un bon moment and the crowd as well, no, just insane. Absolutely insane crowd. C'est bien ce que je pensais. C'est bien ce que je pensais. Je crois qu'ils ont bien aimé. Rayou, un petit mot avec les joueurs. Guys, the, the big team. <laughs> the big team. What was this match? Qu'est-ce que c'était ce match? Like, Grenady, you had one life for like 30 years. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Like, I kind of underestimated how the format is going to be played, so I saved a little bit too much and choked a little bit, but then I just went full survival mode and 
worked. <rire> en gros, il a dit qu'il avait un peu sous-estimé le format et il s'est mis un peu à choke. Et puis au fur et à mesure, il s'est dit, bon, vas-y, je vais passer en mode, sur... en mode survie et ça a extrêmement bien marché. Massa Like... Again Again Like you did it again Went for the shortcut on stage in the final. Absolute madness. I mean, it's amazing. Um, I'm happy that uh, we're actually on the podium, top three. So that's crazy. We train together. We train together with Mime, and now we're here. It's, it's surreal. I'm just thankful. I'm grateful. Thank you. En gros, le, le résumé, c'est qu'il a passé un super moment, qu'il est extrêmement content, que pour lui, c'est presque Very surréaliste. Very fun for Big Climb. They put a lot of effort. Merci le public. A lot, bon, lot of effort. voir celui-là. Hein. Afi, déjà. Je tiens à présenter mes excuses pour cette. <rire> Je tiens à présenter mes excuses pour cette map. Afi, t'es as... resté à Troyes pendant extrêmement longtemps. Comment t'as appréhendé ce match C'était quoi ta stratégie J'ai joué ça. What was your strategy to go so far with three hearts Sur sa map, qui parle. Par le... By the way, elle est très super. Elle est super. Cette fois, elle est super. Et non, euh... peut plus. <rire> Mais c'est abusé. Là, il dit map is amazing, super. By the way, c'est une dinguerie. Elle est, plus. elle est super ma map, merci beaucoup Afi Et après bah, ça se joue au 4 de fin sur Epinglas Il l'a passé yeah. en bas, bien joué, deuxième je suis hyper content Incroyable Et j'aimerais euh, aussi avoir un petit mot Richie, t'as pas arrêté de nous dire Je sais pas ce que je fais là Et encore, quatrième, incroyable Tu nous fais un, un super mode knockout en plus avec euh, en fait, t'as super oh, bien super resté à la pression Richie. parce qu'il y a beaucoup de gens qui regardent, on est 4000 personnes ici et pourtant t'es resté avec une vie pendant très longtemps. Comment t'as ressenti ce match Bah, j'ai vraiment joué safe comme euh, si ma vie en dépendait. Enfin, là, vraiment, je... Je savais qu'en étant donné à 3 secondes derrière, il y a forcément un gars qui va crash. Et franchement, ça a tenu jusqu'au bout quasiment, enfin jusqu'à Epinglas. Euh, bon, ma meilleure map et je me rate euh, dessus, pour dommage, mais... Something about ice. Super, hein, franchement, euh... C'est super, tu, uh, tu récupères du cash prize. Tu récupères du cash prize. Mais c'est super, tu récupères beaucoup de choses. Et euh, so well. j'ai quand même so, envie, euh, j'ai quand même envie really euh, d'avoir un petit, un petit mot pour quelqu'un qui a beaucoup trop This rigolé segment, pendant ce knockout. Carl Anthony, il faut savoir que c'est une compétition sérieuse. Il y a des gens qui pleurent lorsqu'ils ratent. Pourquoi ce sourire Pourquoi ce smile Non, j'ai eu du fun ce soir. Ça faisait longtemps, ça se passe bien. Quoi et puis, euh, Coco, Coco, t'as été légendaire. Coco, t'as été légendaire, ça a été compliqué, t'es resté beaucoup longtemps cool. à une vie, comment t'as ressenti le match Bah, je suis l'exemple parfait du mec qui dépend des maps. Première map, je suis aussi fort qu'Alpha Dream, et bah, les autres, je suis un peu meilleur, mais... Oh mais non, voilà. oh non <rire> Oh non S'il vous plaît Il y a des gens qui ont payé pour dans la, venir dans la It salle. Ouais. Ouais. So c'est un peu de respect ah, voilà, Il y a des maps où je suis nul à chier, des maps où je suis fort. Bon, bah, j'ai perdu. Yeah, he's all smiles. C'était dur de garder l'autre, et puis... Je suis très content de <rire> Et Yves, Yves, je pense qu'en vrai, même si ça a été un mode knockout compliqué, t'as eu rien à prouver, t'as as fait une super ascension, t'es quand même content de ton parcours et on te retrouve à Montpellier Ouais c'est ça, j'ai fait une mauvaise fin de match, je perds mes trois vies d'un coup. À la suite, à la suite. On se revoit à Montpellier les mecs. Oh que oui Oh que I'll oui see you in Montpellier. On se revoit à Montpellier yeah. and mine, the last, the last word. How did you feel about the knockout uh, It was really fun, <laughs> but the uh, crowd was mind. amazing. It was such a pleasure to play this event. Couldn't be more happy. Oh, so hey, mesdames et messieurs, so Mime, uh, Mime qui qui félicite le public, qui félicite le public et qui dit qu'il s'est régalé. Oh que oui. Mesdames et messieurs, on arrive à la fin de cet événement. Ascension Ladies and gentlemen, we have arrived at the end of Ascension 2. I want to thank our sponsors, Continental, Supra, PayPal, Ubisoft, Nadeo, and Matriel. Shout out to all the sponsors for making this possible. And we appreciate as well from the spectator point of view because they make these events possible. PayPal. <laughs> and the main sponsors, of course, you. The audience. Merci beaucoup. Thank you to the production. Thank you, RD. We appreciate you. La sécurité. Et tous les gens qui ont travaillé sur ce spectacle incroyable. L'ascension n'est pas terminée. 
C'est pas que le début, c'est vrai. 28 October chat. I might be there in person casting too in English. Le 28 October à Montpellier. 28 October. In Montpellier. This arena right here, look at that. Si vous êtes 1000, vous serez 1000, mais en vrai. Mais en fait, ce sera un événement incroyable. En vrai, ce sera. Let me see this. Ce sera le sac du champion français après ces quatre mois de compétition. C'est colossal pour tous ces joueurs qui se sont entraînés. Nous, en plus, 14,000 spectateurs seat arena. Oh le, la fusion. On va faire une map. Oh la fusion. Le classique. 14,000 spectateurs live. This one is like. Le Mr. Jekyll. 4,000 maybe. Il va venir. On fera une map en duo avec. This one is maybe 4,000. Quelques maps. Vous inquiétez pas. Pas Blue Pain Glass. Mais Blue Pain Glass restera dans son jeu. Et toutes les autres seront, seront décorées, ça va bosser un petit peu. Euh, voilà, il nous reste pas grand chose à dire. Merci beaucoup. Now, yeah. Merci vous aussi sur internet. Ouh. Le chat Twitch, du bruit pour le chat Twitch. Chat Twitch, Hypers, that's you chat. Et oui. Et oui, vous aussi sur Twitch. Qui avait été oui. plus de 40, 45 000 à nous regarder à un moment pour un événement qualificatif, ça nous fait super plaisir. Yeah. Et le vrai rendez-vous, comme je vous l'ai dit, ce sera à Montpellier le 28 octobre. <rire> je vous remercie aussi personnellement d'avoir encore rempli une salle de Trackmania. Merci beaucoup. Merci beaucoup. On va vous laisser là Merci beaucoup. <rire> It's, you can tell he Merci. loves this stuff. Like hosting events like this arena, it's so awesome. Merci beaucoup! Merci à tous ceux qui ont cru en ce projet. Merci à Rayou d'être venu cast avec moi. Merci à vous. Je vous souhaite une très bonne soirée. À la prochaine bonne sur Twitch. Bonne soirée. Ciao, bye bye. People, hey. All right, chat, I hope you enjoyed the English cast. Again, want to give a big shout out to production for setting this up for me. Again, we had like a clean feed where I could just cast and not be too interrupted. And also, uh, Serrator for, you know, the opportunity to cast it. It's very fun. Morning. I really enjoyed Morning. it. Morning. Morning. <laughs> you know, simple flips. I know you're rooting for them. Thank you so much. It's awesome. Most fun TM event to watch Typha casting. I love Grenadi less than three. Very fun.